As the attorneys for alleged victims of brother Stephen Baker continue to form their cases and seek out who knew what and when, an organization that helps victims of sexual abuse is seeking the truth themselves. Road to Recovery was in Johnstown today, urging alleged victims and anyone at Bishop McCord who knew anything to come forward. Maria Miller is live outside the school with more on this story. Maria? Well, Jen, the woman we talked with today isn't from Johnstown, but she is a mother who claims her son was sexually abused by brother Stephen Baker back in Ohio nearly 20 years ago. She says he struggled silently for years, eventually taking his own life. Now, she was here today sharing her story, hoping that will help other alleged victims to come forward before it's too late. Luke Bradescu was 29 years old when he took his life. For 11 years, his family struggled to figure out why. What was wrong? He seemed happy. He knew he was loved. We knew he loved us. It wasn't until this past January when allegations against brother Stephen Baker surfaced and many of Luke's old high school friends came forward that his mother found her answer. That story broke and it was like a flood of images and memories, things that seemed so insignificant just popped out and I was like, oh my God, this is it. She's been working with Road to Recovery, an organization that helps victims of sexual abuse and an organization that's actively working to seek those who may have covered up alleged misconduct by Baker while he worked as a teacher, coach and trainer at schools in several states. I would like to sit across the table from the people that made the decision to transfer this guy from one set of victims and turn my son into a victim that's dead now. <laughs> The group was in Johnstown Wednesday meeting with the media and talking with alleged victims from Bishop McCourt. Believe me, they knew, and there are people there who knew and know, they, and they're still there. Specifically mentioned was Ken Salem, the former football coach turned principal who was at the school in the 90s, the same time as the allegations against Baker, who served as the athletic trainer. If a teacher goes to the principal and he's a friend of Brother Baker, or has Brother Baker, you know, doing the training, they're not good. They're, they're going to lose their jobs. They're going to fear they're going to lose their jobs. Now, Ken Salem was placed on administrative leave shortly after the allegations surfaced, and he then resigned from his post this past June. The PR firm representing the school did send us a statement this afternoon saying that the current board is committed to student safety, and that's the reason why it's taken a substantial internal investigation, hiring highly regarded counsel, and following up with aggressive legal action to ensure that all facts are brought to light and that all individuals involved are held accountable. Reporting live in Johnstown tonight, Maria Miller, 6 News.